Alrighty, today I got something interesting for you. Um, as you can guess, Leopard's been out a couple weeks now. And finally got a chance here to sit down and install OS X Leopard. That's the box. Let's just load this. And you're wondering why the heck am I showing you a box? Probably can't see it in the video here, but this is one beautifully crafted box. I mean, the box itself, yeah, it's a box, but the actual design of the logo, whatnot, um, little swirl effect they got here, the Apple logo actually being kind of a metallic, you know, it's got that little shine effect to it, literally, it's not just it looks shiny, it is, and you got kind of this little mirrored surface and each one of the little sections of the X here and the same thing on the back you got the same kind of mirrored effect on there so you can actually kind of turn this thing a little bit and you see your reflection there in a little bit uh, it just looks really really awesome um, the only thing I can tell you to do is stop by like your local Best Buy or something and maybe take a look at the box but uh, the video just does not do it justice. This is a very, very nice looking box. So I'm going to load up my OS X Leopard on my Mac book right here. And the first thing we got to do is, of course, close everything out. And then let's go ahead and put the disc in. There we go. More of Apple subliminal marketing designed and engineered by Apple in California. Now, I was expecting it to be designed and engineered by Microsoft in Russia. Of course, this is a DVD. Normally I'll be doing this via the screens and whatnot, so you can actually see the screen and not kind of what we got here. But the Mac Mini is apparently not working with Cam Twist, so um, I'm going to have to either get a different Mac Mini or um, get really angry with it. Uh, I'm going to actually restart the system. I could probably install OS 10 right through here. I'm going to do it um, direct off the CD. I'm letting it actually boot off the CD. Based on the sounds I hear from the CD drive, it is obviously booting from CD. Okay. Alright, that looks awesome. But then again, that's just the background, but... Okay, we want to use English, because I speak of the English the perfectly. Okay. Please read the following information before you install Mac OS X. Okay, let's 
think there's something important here. Okay, so this is the requirements. That sounds important. Uh, we definitely got <laughs> Intel processor, PowerPC, or G5. We got a DVD drive. We got built-in FireWire. I'm wondering why FireWire is really a requirement on the Mac. Now think about that. It's a requirement here. FireWire. Do I have anything attached right at the moment that's using FireWire? Just that's it. This is this is the computer. Uh, at least five to twelve megabytes of RAM, built-in display or display connected via. Hmm, I think I have a built-in display. It's a laptop. Uh, at least 9 gigabytes of space available. We definitely got that. And make sure you got the latest firmware. We got that. We did all of our updates before we started this. Uh, just going to UFS formatted volume. Da -da 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 -da. We're not going to erase and format the disk and get a whole bunch of files on here. So, let's go ahead and continue. Now, immediately I've noticed something different in this installer than I've seen in some of the other ones. Uh, apparently, the wireless utility is active. I see that the upper right corner here. Of course, the battery gauge, that's normal. Because uh, I'm installing this on a laptop. I don't remember seeing the wireless utility when installing the other OS X versions before. Um, if somebody else has noticed that before, feel free to leave a comment on the video here. I'm um, looking through some of the utilities here and whatnot real quick before we start digging into this. Another new feature here under utilities, restore system from backup. And you got the Time Machine logo there. Obviously, that's the you have the Time Machine set up on here. And once you install OS 10 Leopard, you hook up an external drive for a Time Machine feature, and obviously that's what that's built for. So you can restore your actual system from that backup. Uh, firmware password utility, reset password utility, terminal system profiler, network utility. I don't remember seeing network utility in here either in previous versions. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take a quick look at this utility, see if that's changed. With the advent of the Time Machine feature, I'm expecting there to be some different features in there. So far, it looks like the same thing. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's all the same stuff there. So we'll go ahead and close it out and we'll actually start here. We'll select our Macintosh hard drive. And continue. Install summary. OS 10 will be installed on the Macintosh hard drive volume. I think that's what we want to do. Installing. Now what it Every single version of Mac OS uh, 10 does is it verifies the CD or DVD in this case uh, for integrity that it's not being you know any damage spots and anything bad on it before it even starts installing. Uh, this is something I'd like to see Windows do because believe it or not sometimes your disk is scratched, damaged, dirty, missing files, whatever, and this is a great step to help you know identify, hey, there's something wrong with your disk, <laughs> why kill your system before you, you know, go through and start loading up an operating system and waste a bunch of your time. 